You got to be careful how you handle it. I don't know God telling you to tell you all be careful how you handle God's problems. Because you get ready to raise something up. That's not what you look to your care. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. So I'm going to come. It's not that you're going to have odors. Uh -huh. So I'm going to come with bushy hair. Like John the Baptist. Y'all come on, say that. But they're going to be prophets of God. Amen. And they're going to, the Bible says, be careful how you entertain strangers. Because you might be entertaining an age. Unaware. Right. See, I'm telling you, we're living in the last day where miracles are getting ready to happen. Because the devil know his time is almost up. So there's going to be some stuff out of the ordinary going to come up on this earth. But it's going to be God. It's going, to be, it's going to be God because, see, right now, a miracle is in trouble with God. Y'all hear me? A miracle is in trouble with God. So God said, I got to create me a body. See, people now don't want to be sold out to God. No more. I say they don't want to be sold out to God. Then I say, man, you read your Bible back in Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. How many know they, they changed other gods? They went to strange God. They began, they left God. Amen. So God got angry. He said, I got to do something. Come down here and say to himself. That's why he created himself a what? A body. A body. He, he said, I'm going to put on my name that, that, that his name will not be able to trust. No, nobody can trust that name. Amen. He said, my name will be above all names. Amen. So he made a body and took on a name. But he was God in the flesh. Amen. But he came with no sin in his mind. Y'all come on, say amen. Came with no sin in his mouth. So he got to do it again. So now he got to find people that we threw away. And he got to dwell in them because now we are so dignified. We are so modern now. Y'all better say amen. We are so high minded. Y'all better hear me. But God can't use amen us because we ain't got what? Besides. Don't let me talk to you. Come on, say amen. So now God is getting ready to walk the streets. Now. He's getting ready to walk the streets now. He's getting ready to walk in tabernacles. <laughs> He's getting ready to walk in places where people have rejected God's people. Y'all be Be careful walking these doors. Because you might be entertaining an angel. Unaware. When people walking out the door, I'll be careful. I tell them, y'all, show love. Love on that. Love on that. Because we don't know what God is doing. We say we love God. Somebody say, they got songs out. They want to see Jesus. Come on, man. Well, he's going to come. He's going to appear in something that you reject. Are you sure you're ready to see Jesus? Somebody, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they, they didn't even Some of them people have rejected. Some of you in here. Because I've been rejected. Y'all come on, say it. I've been rejected. People didn't know what was in me. Y'all gonna say it. Oh, God. Come on, shout glory. People didn't know what was in me, but they were judging. And they were saying God said it. And they were putting God in their mess. But they didn't know he was living inside. Amen. Now, talking about, I'm not talking about in this area. I'm talking about my hometown. Y'all come on, say it. Other places. Y'all come on, shout glory. Huh? Y'all say that? Amen. So now when they see me, they stretch their head. They're confused. Amen. I thought he was like this. Uh, or they say he was like that. Uh, That's why Jesus took time out with the 12 disciples, set them around the table, and he asked them questions. Who do men say that I am? <laughs> Who do men say that I am? Some say. Some say. How many know we get caught up in that he say, she say? All right. Oh, yeah, he say. Come on, say that he say, she say. All right. Amen. How many know that's not the gospel, that's gossip? All right. Come on, say that's gossip. Come on, say that's gossip. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. But God is going to raise up people up like your pastor, Apostle Tristan. You see, Apostle Tristan didn't know what he tapped into. Amen. He walked and, and met with Apostle McCormick. Y'all better say that. He didn't know he was telling to he see, come on, say amen. All the other preachers probably want to be around just to use him. Because then when people see you got members, they want to flock. Come on, say amen. 
But one thing I know about Apostle McCoy, he gonna stick with you through the bad, through the thin. Amen. And he don't care what folks say about you. I've learned, I've been around for almost, what, nine? Long time. Long time, I can't remember the But he never changed. Amen. Never changed. He saw me with my ups and he saw me with my down. And one thing about it, every time I ask him, come where I'm at, he comes. In spite of what folks say, y'all come and say that's God. God is going to raise a possible prophets up. Amen. It's going to be tuned out of the world. It's going to be tuned out. And they're going to hear nobody but God. That's a weak preacher that healed this congregation instead of hearing God. Last church I preached at a mobile. Amen. The people got mad because you know, he wanted me to preach. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. But they thought they were hurt because they didn't want to come hear me. But how many know he obeyed God? Amen. God got the glory. Hey. Not the people, but God got the glory. <laughs> yeah, come on, say amen. Because the time now where people are saying ain't no more apostles and no more prophets. That's what the church world is saying. Ain't no more. They died years ago. But how many know God is giving to raise us up? Come on, say amen. We can't let it get back on the seed. God didn't let it. Amen. To put us back on the sofa with this word. Come on, say with this word. We can let it to the word. We can let it preach this truth. Y'all better say about it. We can let it preach revelation word. But sinners gonna come in and say, what must I do to be saved? Come on, say that. When the last time you want somebody to say, I want to be saved. When the last time you see somebody got the Holy Ghost, you don't see that no more in the church. Y'all say that. You don't hear folks speaking and talk. You don't see people coming to the altar. Everybody now is trying to get something from God. In the house of God. Y'all say man. That's why God is out of the church. You can't find God in the church. Let me show you. Let's go back. Let's go back to Second Samuel. Go down to the cemetery. No, go down to the secret. I'm going to show you why God, why we put him out to church. Because we're doing our own thing. Y'all come on, say that. That's why God got to raise us up. And the people, the least people, you think God didn't call them the one God's gonna call. And we're gonna, God gonna give us the money. He gonna give us the money. He gonna give us everything we need to build His house, where He can come back and dwell. Y'all come on, say that. Huh? Show you something. Go ahead, what it says. Second, seven, seven chapters, seven, six verses. Amen. Come on, read. Give me a read. Give me a read. Six verses. All right. Where six Whereas I have not to well in any house. I have what? Not to well in any house. Listen, he said, Whereas I have not to dwell in what? In any house. In any house. Since the time I brought up the children of Israel Since out of the time Egypt. That he did what? Brought up the children of Israel brought out of Egypt. The children of Israel. Now, why he said he ain't dwelling in the house since he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt? Even to this Wait, day. Hold up, hold up. He said, Even to what? This day. He said, Even to this day. That's what's wrong with the church world. Y'all understand what I'm saying? We had ran God out. Y'all remember the time they were gambling in the house? Amen. Remember the time they were doing buying and selling, doing all this stuff in the house of God? And he got angry. That's another side of God. That's another side of God. I said, that's another side of God that we ain't see. How many know people always get up and say, oh, God's good. God's mercy and do forever. Y'all come on, say amen. God is love. But they don't know there's another side of God. Amen. There's another side that we ain't seen. Y'all come on, say it. Amen. Now, let's see what, what was going on. Read that one more time, Paul. Whereas I Whereas have, I have dwell not dwelled in, in what? House. In the house. Since the time since that, the I, brought time the that I brought Israel. up the children out of East Israel. Even to this day. Even to this day. But right I walked in day, Right this day, he's not in the church. Read. But have walked in a but have walked in tents and in a tabernacle. And in a tabernacle. Thank God for the man of God, our apostle. He's y'all's too. Come on, say amen. amen. We all trumpet his eye in the beginning. Amen. That's why right today he's in Jacksonville under the tent. Amen. 
Jesus. I said, that's why God is dwelling under the tent. Last tent I went to in, in Augusta, I seen the glory of God on the apostle McCoy. I said, I seen that glory like he just lit up, preaching in one spot, preaching nonstop, one hour straight. And I got light God beamed on him with that glory. I mean, it's like just lit up. Y'all come on, say that. That's, that's where God is dwelling. I'm in the tents and in the tabernacle. Amen. Y'all didn't say that. Amen. That's why people stay at home on Sundays. You can't find God down in the churches. Amen. Because we're modern. We have made it now a thing of deeds. Amen. We're doing some everything. How many of you know right now you go up in this house of God and you hear about money? How many hear that? Amen. I don't go to all the churches anymore. But since I've been, that's all you. If you've been a member of a church, they're going to say, oh, we thank God 